Hello everybody, Burnt Oak Guy here, and welcome back to Cloud Punk. And oh man, is this place ever starting to look out pretty weird, man. This uh, universe of this city is all messed up from the AI running it to the people in charge of it to everything. It's corruption like crazy, man. Corruption crazy. Oh, we got control. What's going on, control? Hey, uh, kid, I need you to know this next job. It's not personal, okay? It has uh, nothing to do with our last discussion. You're not being punished. It's just, well, uh, there's no one else available. That doesn't sound good. Mm -hmm. What's the job? We need you down in Gallows Row. There's uh, been an accident. What kind of accident? Uh, reports are mixed. We think it's a gas leak. Uh, toxic. Some folk are saying it's radioactive. Um, we're pretty sure it's not a zombification virus. And it's definitely not a neural implant ransomware attack. Well, I mean, not definitely, but probably. Okay. That all sounds so reassuring, Control. No kidding. The point is, uh, we're pretty sure the area where you're going is safe. Communication in and out of Gallows Row has broken down, and uh, Corpsack have uh, set up a perimeter. But Cloudpunk has received a contract from an external security agency to extract persons of value. So, I'm a taxi uh, now. Okay. Uh, more like a short-term contracted emergency response vehicle. An ambulance? Okay. Uh, yeah, but an ambulance for anyone who might have good private security or health insurance, or anyone who would be valuable to society. All you right. know, CEOs, doctors, anyone with diamond fillings in their teeth. So you don't know who's down there? We're getting scattered reports. Now, this is a lucrative job. You can squeeze three people in your hava. I'm not saying you need to save the three richest assholes you can find, <laughs> but make sure they have enough resources to cover the bribes that'll get them back out of the quarantine zone. And then when they get back, make sure they have the, the savings or insurance policies to, you know, turn us a profit. So at least one rich <laughs> asshole. Uh, maybe two, just to be safe. <laughs> Great. So how do I get to this poisonous, radioactive dead zone filled with rich zombies? There's an abandoned Corpsec security station just inside oh the quarantine Oh my god. Zone. Corpsec are expecting you, so they'll let you through the perimeter. Once you get inside, just blend in as best you can. Ask people their stories. Yeah, use your judgment. And only mention you can get someone to safety when you're sure you want them as a passenger. Great. How long till this shift is over, Control? <laughs> Don't sweat it, kid. <laughs> the night is almost half done. Uh, When's your shift end, Control? Never. My shift? I can't even remember when it began, kid. I'm pretty sure I'll be doing this forever. Control out. He's an automaton. Pretty damn sure. But he said he had kids, so I don't know. You know. It looks like we're going into that area, everybody, that we couldn't get into before uh, because it was all corpsec or whatever. So it looks like we're going to be able to go get those parts that are in there finally. <laughs> awesome. So everything has a purpose. Everything comes around. So if they're expecting me, then they're expecting me to go in here. I guess this is the people I have to talk to, or what? This whole area is about to be quarantined, ma'am. Now I know you got a contract to pick up some folk, but you gotta be quick. If you're not back soon, you're gonna get stuck on the other side. I understand. Okie dokie. So... Let's make this quick, then. G. Hi, how are you? I am good, thank you. My service tag is GN. How are you doing? Peachy? Are you brand new? You're so shiny. <laughs> I am 18 hours old. And I have to say, I've only spoken to six people so far, but I have liked almost all of them. Nice. Almost all? I also spoke to Mr. Sharp. So, you're fresh out of the box. What is your programming? My default functions have not yet been set. I was purchased by a restaurant and was activated by a chef. Nice. And another chef who talked to me about cooking and also food. Sweet. Sounds like you were going to be a chef. 
Why do you say that? Just a hunch. So what happened? All the humans in the restaurant started to cough. Oh. Then they were rolling, then twitching. Uh oh. Then they were still. I oh. guess they were poisoned by the gas leak. <laughs> and you were the only one left? Yes. Oh. They didn't instantiate my base programming. So I am in generic mode. Nice. I just love to be helpful. It's my favorite thing. What will you do if you can get out of here, GN? I don't think I will get out. They will send me back to the factory to be wiped. But you've already been activated. If they wipe you, won't that be like... I do not want to go. But if I am not wiped, I have one recorded owner. And my market value will be far less. Oh no. If I am wiped, I can be sold as new. But androids can't be owned anymore. Not since the law changed. We're only considered emancipated after we've been... Born. born. And we aren't born till we're given a name. You have a name? No. That is my service tag. Can I give you a name? No. Only my first legal employer can do that. And they don't give us a name till we sign a work contract. Usually, for at least ten years. What about if I got you out of here? Perhaps. I would like to help people. Maybe really you are, like you're not helping. supposed to offer right I've only away. done twelve different things so far. <clears throat> but helping is by far my favorite. Much better than worrying about my own mortality. Alright, so... I don't know. Uh, Quincy Sharp. Okay. Hi, I'm Rania. So, uh... He's the guy that you didn't like. like. Stuck here, Mr... I'm sorry, I don't have any business cards left. Um, me neither. But you can still tell me your name, right? I guess so. The cards are eggshell with a hollow finish. The font is an archaic, neoclassic choice called Tahoma. Wonderful. They have my office number, so I never forget where I work. Great. And they say your name, which is... Oh, right. Quincy Sharp, CEO. CEO? Wow. For which corp? Again, I'd have to check my card. Uh. You don't know which corp you work for? We just went through a rebranding. I really couldn't say. You know, I've always wondered, what does CEO stand for? No one remembers. We just use it for the upper level management in corps. <laughs> How do you get a job as a CEO? Mm. Foresight, leadership, boldness. Thinking both inside and outside the box. Awesome. Blue sky thinking. Being a savage. Originality. Those are the characteristics that make you a real game changer. And money, right? No yes. one works up to be a CEO these days. You need limbs in the first place. I always see money as a kind of energy force, and I've been able to act as a conduit and channel that energy through positive thinking. Nice. My father also left me a small trust fund. That helps. Uh -huh. Is anyone worried about you back home? My father, for sure. Although, we haven't spoken since I faked an alibi for my brother-in-law after he <laughs> ran over that colored lady. Oh, God, I should go. Uh-huh, okay, so I guess he's not worth taking, or what? What's with this orange or the the green thing here? Oh, Miss Octavius Butler. Oh. Oh, ha ha ha. Okay. Hi, I remember you. I know they're rich. Oh, thank Cora, you're here. It's good to see you, Miss. I was so thankful to Skypunks for their help before. <laughs> I was hoping you could help me once again. I'm sorry to see you trapped here. Of course you are. It must be very distressing for you to see someone like me stuck here with the rest. I need you to get a message to Mr. Octavius Butler. He'll know what to do. Maybe I can help you. Of course you can. This is a serious matter. You need to get Mr. Octavius Butler. I, I can you do better. You must remember a message for me. Can you do that? Maybe. Here is the message. I am trapped in Gallows Row. Come and save me. Do you need to write this down, dear? <laughs> I think I can remember it. I understand there is toxic oh, gas. No. I'm not sure how long we'll be safe here. There is no one authorized to take us to safety. I am. But don't worry. Mr. Octavius Butler will know what to do. You know, I might be able to take you... Mr. Butler, dear. Get going quickly now. Ah, oh, she's such a B-I-C-T-H. Alright, so I guess I gotta keep talking to everybody else. I wanna go pick up this stuff before it's too late. <laughs> uh, there we go, got that one. 
There's another one. There's a couple more in here, if I'm not mistaken. I'll look on the map here. <clears throat> uh, one more there, and the other one's outside. Really. Hi, my name's Rania. I'm just chatting with everyone to pass the time. How are you doing? Why are you asking so many questions? <laughs> I didn't think I was. Look, it wasn't my fault. You know that. I know that. The lab has accidents all the time. Oh. It was definitely one of the interns. Do you work in a lab? I own the lab. And no, none of us could have predicted that... Are you with Corpsec? No. Definitely not. <laughs> if you can find a way to get me out of here, I'll make it worth your while. All I right. told the Corpsec officers at the perimeter that I had rescue insurance, but they didn't believe me. You believe me, right? Sure, I'll just go get you some help. Okay, so I don't know. Don't have that many more people to talk to. We got uh, this person here. I want to go get that thing on the ground first. Because I'm a collection freak. I want to collect all the stuff. Don't want to miss nothing. Uh, end magazine. Hmm. We got this guy, Sergeant Came, and then that other chick. Um, hi. Can I talk with you for a minute, sir? Mom, yes, Mom. Sergeant Kai, pleased to meet you. <laughs> My name is Rania. How long have you been in the army? 312 years, man and boy. Or oh, android and circuit board. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> hey, what do you know about this accident? <clears throat> little mom, I'm on need to know programming, and I do not need to know this. Apparently. Do you have any friends or family looking for you? I got the old boys waiting for me at the oil guzzler. It's my local. Are okay. you retired? Yes, mom. There's not many of us Mark 8s left in the city. We're antiques. I see that. I was originally Looks programmed like a Jedi. to run an all-terrain vehicle during the Rat Wars. <laughs> the Rat Wars? Were you really fighting? Rats, yeah. Well, at first, they grow pretty big in the lower levels of Nivalis, <laughs> scurrying down corridors in swarms, hundreds of them, millions, big as horses. Was it really a war if you were fighting rats? It sounds more like you were an exterminator. If you'd been there, you would have called it a war. And nice. I don't suppose you have much savings as a veteran either? No. Barely a penny to my name. Looks like you're staying there. And then the doctor. Hello, miss. Not miss. I'm a doctor. Ah. Oh, sorry about that. Are you okay, doctor? Yes. Yes. Sorry for snapping. This is all just very stressful. It is. My name is Dr. Ochoa. Nice to meet you. And same. Are you a... I'm just stuck here like you. Yeah. What happened? They say it was a toxic gas leak. Some of my patients have been having trouble with their breathing in the last few weeks. I thought it was just smog, but I guess it was much worse than that. I guess so. Are you sick? I have no symptoms of respiratory illness. I am feeling lightheaded, but I think it's the heat in here. Could be. And the stress. Yes. Have you talked to that butler woman? What a nightmare. <laughs> what caused the toxic gas? I don't know. <laughs> the whole city is falling apart. Explosions, <laughs> gas leaks, trash mountains, logic yes. virus bombs. I remember the butler woman. districts home. getting relocated. The economy is in constant flux. That's horrible. My grandmother was an old tech priest. She used to say the city has a spirit. And that spirit gets a little angrier every year. You don't believe that, right? You're a doctor. No. I don't believe the city is the avatar of a new dark god rising. My <laughs> grandmother had early onset dementia. So why is everything in the city getting worse then? No one else will say it. But when you're a doctor, you learn that sometimes you just have to say, I don't know. Questions create a vacuum that answers want to fill. But bad answers are worse than no answers. That's very what true. What do you do when you get out? Drink some vodka. Call my ex-husband <laughs> and tell him I still hate him. But he can stop worrying about me. Eat some takoyaki. Do you... Will you be able to afford the rescue insurance if someone picks you up? No way. I've only been out of medical college ten years. It doesn't matter, though. No one's coming anyway. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Yeah, I guess so. 
At least she was honest. But she could have said yes, right? Hello, it is Camus. Camus the dog. I am messaging Rania with a very important message. Yeah, Camus, you don't need to... What is it? The guards are saying the gate will close soon and no one will get out. You need to come back. I can't decide who to take. There is only room for three. I know. And we need to take passengers who can cover the costs of rescue for Cloudpunk. At least, I think we do. Should I just take the people I like? I don't know, but you have to choose now. You should talk to the people you want to save, then get out of there quickly. Alright, I'll tell them. I know who I'm going to choose. I think. Okay, so we're going to take you. What do you want? Whatever it is, can you make it snappy? I've got to meditate and re- Gross. Look, Oops. I can get you out of here. You just have to come with me. I have a vehicle and clearance to leave the quarantine zone. That's just great! I can't wait to check my stocks when I get back. Natural disasters like these are great for debt corps like mine. Great. Just get me at the gate in a few minutes. Alright. I'm going to go get the doctor because I believe uh, saving a doctor would be a good thing. Um... Oh, there's the professor that might have caused all of this. Let's go with the doctor. Ah, screw it. Let's go with the, the professor. He says he can pay. <laughs> professor, I can get you out of here. Do you want to come with me? Really? Why? Am I under arrest? Nope. What? No. I'm just a delivery driver with a rescue subcontract. I have a vehicle and clearance to leave the quarantine zone. Nice. Why didn't you say? Get me out of here. Before right. everyone realizes that although this wasn't my fault, some <laughs> might wrongly attribute this whole disaster to me. Uh, that's fine. Whatever. I'll see you at the checkpoint in two minutes. Be ready to leave. All right. And the last one I know that apparently has money is this rich lady here. So let's try here. Mrs. Butler, I can take you back to your husband. I have a vehicle and I can get you through quarantine. Well, that's fabulous news. Tell me, is it possible you have a different vehicle? Perhaps something a bit newer? No, sorry. It's my old Hava or you stay here. I'll pack my belongings and be with you momentarily. You do that. Excellent. There's my three choices. Alright, so... I can't I gotta get thank you here. enough for taking me out of that horrid place, dear. I can't wait to get back and see Mr. Butler again. Oh, do you have any air freshener for the car? You know what? It's fine. Don't bother yourself. <laughs> All right, that's if right. If you could hurry this up, I have to sign off on some union leader executions before they ballot again. Union... Oh, wow, that's horrible. When you get back to safety, just remember, you didn't see me. And I uh -huh. acted completely innocently, just like someone who didn't know anything about the accident. Yep, as long as you pay me. To me, that's all that matters. <laughs> Never said I was going to do good. It's all about the money, right? All right. We seem to be dropping everybody off here. Seems like everybody's going to be safe. Everybody's getting off. Contract has been fulfilled. We are getting a call. Awesome. It is Huxley again. What should I do? Uh oh. Put him through. I had her. I finally had her. Now all I needed was a way out. Huxley, did you find Pasta? The game was sharp, but I needed an exit strategy, not a pat on the back. I'll come get you. Send me an aft point. I hope she would get here soon. The situation was going south quicker than the Americans when the ice caps melted. Oh no. The ice caps melted? <laughs> Hence, that's why the floating cities? That would make sense. That would totally, totally make sense. So, off to find the little girl. Finally, let's get this mission over and done with so that we never have to see this guy ever again. Because it's like super annoying. His Dick Tracy talking kind of thing. There you go. We had to get going. The girl was in danger. We all were. I gave the nice. dame a nav point for a hideout we could use. It might even be safe. Nice, nice. 
So you all get back to the car automatically. That's good. Uh, oh, yeah. That sounds good. Perfect. Let's go this way. Who are you? I'm Rania. I just want to help. Huxley is a friend. You can trust him. I know that. I trust him. He saved me. Fair enough. We'll get you out of here, then leave you too. Huxley, what exactly is the plan? Do we take her back to... Not back. I don't want to go back to him. Pashta, do you know why this happened to you? Because of the chip? In your head? The neural memory implant? Yeah. They gave me the implant so I can do better at school. Dad said he wanted me to be a data analyst one day because data analysts sometimes become CEOs. Is that what you wanted? I wanted to be in corpsec like him, but he said it was a bad job. So your dad wanted the memory chip removed? He wanted it erased, but I said I didn't want it. It would make me forget a lot more than just the meeting. The meeting? Oh. Dad met with people he shouldn't. I heard everything they said. Dad said it was evidence. He said we can never leave behind any evidence. So your dad erased your memory implant? He took me to a man to do it. It hurt. I don't think Dad paid the man. That's why they were mad at him. That's oh. why they sent me away. And you don't want to go back to your father now? I won't go back to him. It made me forget too much. I can't even remember Mom anymore. Uh -oh. I just remember how much I hate him. How did you find her, Huxley? Busting the kid out hadn't been easy. I'm pretty sure I upset the wrong people. <laughs> but everyone in Nivalis was the wrong people these days. I'd followed the leads I got from the two-bit mobster who pretended to be her father, Peter. In the grand scheme of things, he was the least terrible of the bunch. I can't believe you found oh. her, Huxley. Oh no! It is happening again! Someone else is on the comm. You were warned, Cloudpunk driver. Surrender now and hand over the android Huxley. There was one oh. more hand I could play. It was a desperate plan, but I was done for anyway. There was a number on my head now, and it was a big one. I should turn myself in, then push the big red button. At least the girl might make it. What big red button? My frame was an old espionage bot. Ancient, a bucket of bolts. But it did have one feature I was pretty sure would still work. Self-destruct. Self <laughs> All I had to say was a specific combination of words. They would prime my fuse. Introduce a little spark into my house of dynamite. I could get rid of Rio for good. Nice. Oh no. Do you have to do that? That would be bad. Is it really a button? I'd ask the dame and her dog <laughs> for a lot of help. The least I could do for them was Is it really a way. button? <laughs> I explained that it wasn't really a big red button. Rather, it was a phrase that if I said or heard would trigger the detonation sequence. The words were simple enough. I just had to say... No. Pasta, it might work. We could escape. Huxley saved me. And I hate Rio, but he is still my dad. I didn't know this. Did everyone else know this? No, but it adds up, I guess. <laughs> Let me talk to him. I'm not sure. Trust me. Please. I can do this. All okay, right. the comm is open. Go ahead. Dad, it's me. Pasta? Pasta, honey. These aren't good people. Listen to me, Dad. Just listen. Remember when Mom got sick? Yep. Do you remember what present I brought to the <laughs> hospital for Mom? Pasta, I... You don't remember. It was a little bird. I made it from folded paper. She said it would stay by her side forever. Oh, I remember, honey. Listen to me. I need you to... No, you listen. I didn't remember the bird because you stole my memories from me. But I wrote it down. Even my scribbles are better at remembering Mom than you are. I wrote down a lot. I wrote down everything you said at that meeting, too. The one that made you do this to me? Pasta, all I care about is your safety. I had to erase the memory so that they wouldn't come for you. No, Dad. You only cared about not being caught. If That's you right. cared about me, you would have turned yourself in instead of stealing my memories. Now you listen here. If you have told anyone else... I haven't, but I will. If you don't let me go, I wrote down all the words that you said at that meeting. <laughs> and if you don't leave us alone right now and stay away forever, I will send them in a message to Corpsec. I can't just let you go. No, Dad. You actually can. 
you can let me go and your secrets are safe. Or you can tell me that you don't care about how much trouble you'll get in and turn yourself in. And I'll wait for you to get out of jail or whatever happens. I'll stay by your side forever if you give up. Damn it, just give yourself up, Rio. Nice. He, he's left the calm. Oh, no. What a kicker. Her pops had abandoned her. He was letting her go, poor kid. Pashta, I'm sorry. I... It's fine. I knew he would go and leave me behind. It's what he does. Let's keep going. I won't leave your side, kid. Yes, you will. Everyone does. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on, they don't let you out of that. Moving on you. Lomo? Oh. Um, yeah. Remember what I told you. The city moves real fast, and you got to move with it. I'm trying my best. What do you want, Lomo? You made some tough choices, Rania. People got hurt. I don't blame you. I think you did the right thing. But some other folk, their choices weren't so good. What do you mean? I'm going to ask you for something that I know you won't give me. Still, I have to ask, and you have to answer. Okay. Our choices have narrowed to a point, Rania. We've just got to play our parts from here. What are you talking about? I did what you asked. This isn't about you or even me. This is about what you have. You have to bring that girl back to me. She's the debt. What girl? Let's not do this. I'm asking, but I know your answer. Bring her to me. Last chance. No. All right, then. No hard feelings, Rania. To be honest, I would have thought less of you if you said yes. But debt is like a weight. And if you want someone to carry it, you got to graft that weight to their bones. Mm -hmm. You understand? No. You will. Your hollow heart will crack like ice. Five minutes to self-destruct. Oh no. What the hell? How could the scumbag know? I don't keep the best hacker in the city around for his singing voice. Your number's up, Huxley. You're deader than the dance hall. It was true. I was a goner. Four minutes, fifty seconds to self-destruct. You're going to kill us all. You said you wouldn't... You're free to drop him off. In fact, I highly recommend you do. Stop this! I'll find a way to... As your robot friend might say, you were never going to come out of this shit smelling like roses. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Rania. He has disconnected. It isn't fair. We have to help him. There was a way to get out of this, but it was a long shot. A damn long shot. What long shot? Yes, what long shot? Defense. If we could get there in time, maybe I could find an old hackbot and disarm the self-destruct sequence. Why aren't you driving faster? We have to save him. Shit. Okay, let's go. That would be down. No? Or that would be up. Really? Are they actually going to let you out of here or what? Oh yeah, they do let you out. Oh well. That was like a vent thing that was like right underneath me, wasn't it? So I have like 200 and some seconds to get there? That's crazy. Let's hopefully I don't hit anything on the way. <laughs> uh, good thing I got enough gas. I should turn here. Just in case. Oh, I can go through here, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have to turn. Oh, I probably could have turned there. Oh, time is ticking, time is ticking. Here it is, right here, I gotta go through this thing here. Go down below. Well, I got 160 some seconds left. Oh, sure, we go on. Looks like we're going like straight, so that's good. Get out of my way. I got a bomb on in my vehicle here. Uh, looks like we're going right down into another vent there, into the marrow. Alright. Still got 140, 40 seconds left. We're doing pretty good, doing pretty good. 
that was a good distance away. Alright, see if we can get up here. Cut on an angle here. Uh, try to get above the, the stuff. Alright, should be good here. Follow this path all the way down. I think we should be fine. Should come it down some a little bit, I guess. Probably another tunnel here I'm going to have to go down eventually. Or over this way. Looks like this way. Oh, here's the tunnel. I'm going to go down the tunnel. we got 96 seconds left. We're doing pretty good by the looks of it. Awesome. Down to the tunnels. Find that hackbot. 900 and some away. I don't know if those would be meters. Probably. Alright. Not the first parking spot. Go past here. Oh, I would say this way. Wasn't there a thing back here? No. Uh, it was back here. Yeah. It was this way. spot is down below, right over here, and we're doing 40 seconds, we're doing pretty good, I think we're doing pretty good. So we go. where do we find this hackbot? You said you had five minutes about... How could I tell her that it wasn't as easy as interfacing with an old machine? So tell me what you need. I needed the dame to look after Pashta. No more, no less. What do you mean? Why are you just standing there? Truth was, there was no hackbot. I was done. Only the girl mattered now. I needed the dame to take her in. I can't do that. I can't just take on a child, Huxley. Uh -oh. The dame protested, but I knew in the end she would do the right thing. She had to get moving. Damn it, Huxley. It shouldn't be like this. It's not fair. Oh no! Fair is what we make it. He's gonna blow uh, up. You deserve better than this. I told her to get back into her car and her safety. I was able to insert lines of code into my core loop to delay the big moment, but I wasn't able to prevent it. Goodbye, Rania. Oh no, he's gonna blow. Why didn't you save him? We couldn't save him. You knew that. We all knew it. Ah, oh, there we go. He blew up. Damn, that was quite the explosion. Well, at least we weren't, uh, we weren't there. I knew he would leave. Don't you dare say anything bad about Huxley. <laughs> Never again. He gave everything for you. For us. Where are you taking me? Back to my apartment. Really? Shush. Let's just drive in quiet for a little while. Uh... Now nah, I gotta get out of here. So we finally made it to that one spot on the ground down here. That's pretty awesome. Talk to this uh, this person down here. I have no idea who he is. So this is just a merchant, but what you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Mm hmm. Oh, Laura, Grandma. Something expensive away. Trading cards. Well, we'll take this and that. Um, done. What about selling stuff? Can I sell stuff to him? I wonder what I can sell. I wonder what would be worthwhile selling. Or should I sell anything to this guy? You know? Makes me kind of wonder. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Thanks. No problem. Hey, come back any time, lady. Okay, so that was just someone to buy crap off of. Okay. Um, can you actually wear this? E. I like this one. Alright. So now she looks like she's wearing it. Alright. Sounds good. Sounds good. Now, are you going to, like, disappear forever, or are you going to stay there? Now, that's the question, because that arm, I don't know if I'm ever going to need that arm. That was pretty expensive. Uh, Alright, so let's get out of here, and uh, we'll go back, uh, 
go back and bring posture to the apartment. I'd like to be able to find one more card before I do that though. That would be kind of nice. Alright, so we're back outside the apartment. I'm gonna drop off the kid and we get another punch card for Evelyn. So that's pretty wicked. Uh, we, like always, we park around back. <laughs> I never think about that. Yeah, I'm gonna run around front here. We'll talk to Evelyn first, and then we'll bring the kid to the apartment. And then, uh, I think that'll be that. Alright, Evelyn. Got more punch cards for you, dear. I have more of the cards. Maybe enough? Everything is becoming clearer. Is that good? I feel incredible pain. Oh no. I'm sorry, Evelyn. What do you remember? Dr. Zizic and I had an argument. She said I should forget what happened, put it behind me, and move on. I wanted to die. Oh no. Do you remember what it was that made you feel like you couldn't go on? At the periphery, I met someone. Someone I cared very deeply for. Did something happen to them? Yes. They fell in love. With who? Dr. Zizic? With me. Oh. So what was the problem? I cared for them deeply, but I could not love them. You shouldn't feel guilty about that. You do not understand. I could not love them, no matter how much I wanted to. I am not built to feel it. I see. But if you cared for them, then that's... It is not the same as loving them. What I felt was like... It was like being able to taste, but not swallow. Being able to see the sun, but not feel its warmth on my face. I was walking towards a deep, blue, infinite sea. But the tide was rolling out, and no matter how fast I ran, there was always sand beneath my feet. All I wanted to do was swim, but for me, there was only an endless shore. I still don't get it. I do. Some androids can't love, Sorry. Oh and my yet God. still they oh. feel whole. Some can, and they can feel everything. For me, it is much worse. I can feel the hole inside me where love should be, and I can feel that it is not there. <laughs> Do you remember anything else about the periphery? About Dr. Zizic? I remember little. I struggle to picture their face, but I remember that I was the one that posted the punch card under your door. The first one. Why? I asked Dr. Zizic to change my core programming, to forbid me from searching for the lost memories. I knew you traveled through the city. You might find them. You might help me recover my memories. So you lied to me. Do you understand why? Uh-huh. Do you? No, but I want to. <laughs> okay, so there's another 20 more out there. It's a confusing person. So let's go into the apartment, bring five, whatever this person's name in there. Oh my god. Fasta. So, I don't really have much food right now. I'm not hungry. Is this your whole house? Yes. yes, it's plenty big for me and Camus. How long can I stay here? I'll get some food when my shift finishes. In the meantime, there's some fruit and mochi in the fridge. The fridge? The thing that keeps the food cold? Oh yeah, I knew that. <laughs> Just make yourself at home, but don't touch anything. You can watch the hollow vids or whatever. When do I have to leave? Look, you... you don't have to leave. I won't send you away until there's somewhere you want to go. I don't want to go anywhere. Nowhere is home anymore. Then this is the best nowhere you have right now. I won't be long. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Okay then. I'll see you soon, Pashta. Rania, I... I know Huxley saved us. Uh -huh. Good. He said we need to stick together, so we will. I'll see you when the sun comes up. Bye, Rania. Oh, here, kid, I'll uh, buy you pizza. Uh, we got a bonsai tree. Hmm. Uh, here we go. We'll nice. get you a second bed. Uh, Bernie oh. Cage. Driver 14 FC, come in. I'm here. New job available. Okay, I'm ready. New uh -huh. job available. You already said that. Are you okay? I'm really not in the mood. Control, can you just talk normally, please? <clears throat> It's been a long night. Sounds good. New nav point generated. Your voice sounds weird. Uh oh. I've had Has enough he been erased? for one night. What's going on? Please proceed to the nav point. 
No, everything is normal. Well, that's reassuring. Okay, I'm on my way. Let uh, me out. Uh -oh. Is Mr. Control okay? I don't think so. I don't think so, Chemist. Let's go to the nav point. We have no other choice. But we'll have to wait till the next episode to find out what happens at the new nav point and what happens to Mr. Control. No one knows. But we'll find out in the next episode. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.